Hi, everyone. This is Pastor Lori coming to you from our beautiful historic sanctuary at the Coral Gables Congregational United Church of Christ. It is unbelievable, but it has been a year since we have fully gathered as an entire faith family for worship in this lovely space or for any programs or events or fellowship or fun here in our church building. And my goodness, have I missed you, as has the entire staff. And I'm sure you all are missing each other. When I first recorded a message to you in March 2020 to share with you that we were going to close the church down for a couple of weeks. Never ever would I have imagined it would be an entire year later that we are still debating whether or not to open up our doors or for the safety and well-being and health of all to keep our doors closed for a little bit longer. And I'll come to that in just a second. One of my reflections on this past year is what might I have done differently or what might we have done differently as a church family? Personally, I think I would have started a much better exercise plan. So many of you look so great. You've used this time well to get in shape. Or I might have started a hobby. And I know some of you have started to learn how to cook or bake better or garden. I have just been so impressed with how, again, you have used the time. But what I think none of us would have changed, or at least I would never have changed, is the idea that we needed to close down for all of these months. We are a church that is very committed to good science and to good medicine, the health and well-being of all people, plus the adage that we have all been taught since early childhood that we should love our neighbor as ourselves. So I do believe it has been appropriate for us to close down and keep everyone safe over this past year. But we have worked hard in the process of creating a booklet and a program for reentry. We have looked, thanks to the Board for Congregational Life, as well as our Executive Council, at when and how do we return. The criteria has always been when there is a positivity rate of diagnosis for COVID at under 5%, that a vaccine is readily available to everyone, and frankly, that the death rate in our community or the wider state is in a single digit. As you may know, we are not quite there yet, and we at the last report are at 10.6 of a positive diagnosis rate here in our community. As part of our re-entry program and our booklet and our criteria, as you may also remember, we have brought on a COVID administrator in the form of our beloved Mark Wolf, a, a member who really cares about these things and about keeping us safe. He is smart, he is organized, and he is diligent at looking at the statistics and the data so he is leading as well, as is our newly assigned parish physician, Dr. Steve Wyrick, who also is looking at all of the numbers and helping us figure out when it will be safe to return. So here's what we know at this point. Because the data, the statistics, the diagnostic level is still too high, we are not quite ready to return. So we are going to maintain the integrity of our commitment to keeping you safe through this Lenten season, which means that we will continue to do online worship each Sunday morning, we will continue to do Zoom gatherings and meetings and just try to figure out all kinds of ways of staying connected to you. 
As part of that, we have some really fun, interesting things planned as we approach Palm Sunday. There will also be some opportunities for you to gather in worship as a small, more intimate group, like on Monday, Thursday here with reservations. On Easter Sunday, we're going to have a huge outdoor service, which I think will greet the sun and the news of Christ is risen. So there's all of these fun, joy-filled opportunities for us to gather. So stay tuned. You will be hearing a lot more about that. We also know that spring break is on the horizon, as well as Easter celebrations, which may include a lot of family reunions or friends gathering for Easter dinner. So we do want to see the results of what that might look like afterwards. So here is my best guess at this moment, is that we will continue through March and April to maintain our status as a closed church, meaning our building is closed, but of course the church is wide open for service and worship and programs and, and studies. And my best guess is by the 1st of May, we will have the opportunity to gather back as a church family. At least that's my dream, my hope, and we're going to do everything we can to make that happen. We've been putting in HEPA filters around the church. We have lots of soap dispensers that are new. We're going to have lots of masks ready. We've taken out a bunch of pews so that we can safely distance one another. So part of our plan is to put in our plan to bring you back safely. So Please hang on for just a little bit longer. I think we will be so glad we did when it's all over. And we are going to have such a celebration when we finally are able to gather. But in the meantime, if you have any concerns, questions, um, are seeking some kind of answer about something, please do not hesitate to be in touch. I am here, the other pastors are here, the staff is continuing to work really, really hard at helping us create an ongoing community. So please stay in touch. And as always, please take good care of yourself and take good care of each other. And with fingers crossed and prayers answered, we are going to be together very soon. So blessings on all of you, and I hope to see you online for worship this coming Sunday and in the Sundays to come. Blessings, my friends. Bye-bye.